Hey everybody, welcome to Power Chord. I'm Disturbing Puppet. So I played the demo of this when it came out. Jeez, when was it? I think it was, I mean, it was definitely last year. I just don't remember exactly when last year. So I played that a bit, and I think that's why I had an issue with loading into the game here. So it's a pretty interesting deck builder roguelite based on music and like heavy metal and stuff, which is uh, an interesting departure. But it also is very heavily inspired by Darkest Dungeon. So it has kind of this weird thing where you've got four different band members with different attacks and stuff. But everything's based on the cards you draw, so it is a little bit different. Um, so because I played the demo before when it loaded into this, the resolution was super low, and in the options, all the sound was turned like all the way off, which was really bizarre. So uh, the intro played, and I don't see a way to replay it. I was going to go ahead and replay it at the beginning of the video, but I don't see a way to do that. So maybe they'll add that eventually. Um, yeah, we'll kind of see how it goes. So this challenge is... We're just going to have to start a new game and see how it goes. So let's do that. I don't know if it'll make me do a tutorial. We'll see. It's probably the same one that was in the demo before. Things have been alright in the midverse since Mordeth locked the portal. So how the hell did that demon get through the gate? Better grab a couple bouncers and deal with it. Or Iron Cast, the drum shield and last night of the Thunder Fist. And bring the Brawl Fist, the rage brewing guitarist. Now, bounce that demon fast before it starts any shit. Yeah, this will be the tutorial, I think. Yeah, there was an intro kind of explaining that there were a bunch of demon invasion and then. Uh, with a special guitar, they're able to fight the demons back and banish them to another realm, but now they're showing up again, kind of thing. <laughs> Introducing Boar Ironcast, the last Thunderfist. The stubborn knight of the fabled Thunderfist wields powerful barriers to defend his band. These barriers will block an entire hit, no matter how much damage it does. So just showing you different cards and stuff. Um, I'm curious, I did make some recommendations when this was a demo about some of the sound design stuff, and I'm curious if any of that will actually carry on carry on through. Yeah. Grimnir Brawlfist, he reminds me of an old friend of mine. Uh, the Rage Brewer, how to play, this bitter brewmaster never saw a hit he didn't want to take. Grimnir gains rage charges by taking damage and then deals it back as extra damage. So, Demon's Plans, use your card attacks, Grimnir's Incoming Damage. So, Incoming Damage here, it'll show who's taken the damage. There'll be four slots eventually on both sides. So, he's attacking. You kind of see the different spots there. It's just the two, so maybe that's why it's showing there. Health, uh, we've got a little bit of shield, so it's totally going to get blocked anyway. What do we have? Uh, I mean, we've got four energy for stuff. Okay, so one of the things that I recommended was there's stuff like that that'll hit multiple targets, and I was kind of hoping that you might get a repeated note for each hit. That was something that I recommended that they change. Doesn't look like that's actually what they did, but uh, what you gonna do? And I do like the effects for the cards seem a little bit louder than they were before, which is good. Do that. So like there, I would have liked like attacks. What I recommended was something like attacks being a bass drum, uh, defenses being cymbals. Like you could have done different stuff like that. And then for the guitars, the bass, uh, just different notes. And the guitars, different notes, that kind of stuff. And then each hit would have been a separate note, would have been kind of cool. So if you had a, a, something to hit all four, it'd be like dun, 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 that kind of thing. I, I recommended that. Probably kind of hard to implement because they probably had all that stuff recorded already. The other thing that I recommended was there are different kinds of demons, and we'll see as we get further in whether they change that, where you could kind of hover over and see what they do. You can always see what their actions are going to be, but they each have different classes, and you'll kind of see what the different classes do as you progress through. So, all blocked. Alright, so rage charges. Consume to increase damage of range damage spells by plus one per charge. Does not count down unless spent. So it'll automatically get used if I do something like this. So we can just kind of overkill him. Just like that. 
Victor. There's more demon that need a beating. You'll need a bigger band if you're gonna clear them all out. Meet Stitch, a medical enthusiast on vocals and the closest to a healer you're going to find in this whole damn city. New challenger blocks your path. Screeching minion. Weak singers that can hold a note alone. Can't hold a note alone, but can't power up the entire demon band. Stitch. Medical enthusiast. Self-appointed medic is always happy to help, but takes as much health as she gives. Stitch can power up band baits while healing them using the blood charges she collects by dealing damage. So, gear items. And you can get different gear items as you go along. Um in the runs and stuff. So this is just kind of the tutorial. You're going to need to build charges to gain any momentum in a fight. Charges count down by one per turn, so make sure you use them. So if they just degrade a little bit, not a big deal. just want to check really quick. Yeah, we've got it set there. Uh, nope, nope, not that one. Whoops. Use Augment on board. Gain two power charges to a single ally. Do I want it to give it to him? I'd rather give it to him. But okay. So it gives a bit of a buff. So they're attacking her directly. And why do I feel like this should be the front? Not here? Why is it? I guess it's showing like left to right that way. I'm thinking kind of like mirrored, but yeah, it's just straight. Probably less confusing. Whip into shape, grant two charges to ally band. Increase damage dealt per hit, decays by one a turn. Yeah, we might want to get rid of the buffer if we can. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give you some defense. And let's hit you. I haven't noticed when I played before, at least I don't remember that there were cards that could only attack certain positions. But there probably are. Uh, what do we got? Zero bite. Two damage to a single enemy and heal from to plus four health if health damage dealt. We've got four to a single enemy. Five to a single enemy. Gain three rage charges. Two, two times. Five armor. Uh, let's go one, two. Got a free barrier, so why not do that? Uh, nobody's hurt, so there's no point in doing any healing. I don't think armor goes away in this, unless it's you're damaged. So let's just spread some armor around. And let's do some damage against Breach. Yeah, so it does stay. Okay, so now you're attacking for four. Armor covers it, but you know it'd be nice not to have to do that. Two power charges to a single ally. I mean, we can kill him kind of no matter what here. Do that. Uh, just because I feel like it. And we'll take you out. Challenger blocks your path, the bodyguards. Spotlight stealing armored brutes, these drummers will take the hits meant for other demons. So their guys, although they're kind of similar, so you can see drummer, drummer. Uh, do that. It's like introducing Shinobi 13, the graffiti ghost. 
a faceless member of the Venomous Paint Clan who manipulates toxins to devastating effect. Shinobi 13 will add extra toxins to any enemy they hit who had poison or corrosion applied. There's poison on the bodyguard. It's being very specific. Yeah, so you can kind of see drummer, drummer. So you get kind of an idea that way. But when it comes to, like, which kind of guitarist you are, you know, that kind of stuff, that's a bit more iffy. All right, poison. Three poison charges on a single enemy. Health damage, start a turn, cannot break stance. I don't know if that goes through armor. Okay, so you are getting hit. So what's your deal again? Plus one to existing. So he's got it. We can do more. Let's get you a barrier to keep you safe. Let's armor up so everybody's got some armor. Give some charges. Nah. Let's just do some damage and gain charges. Yeah, I went through the armor, so that's kind of cool. Stances. Demon has entered a guard stance. Stances effects last until broken by taking health damage or changing to another stance. Break through the demon's armor to stun it. Your armor refills after each battle, but you won't heal unless you find a rest stop on the map. There are some cards you can use for healing, of course, too. So, yeah, they're really going to hammer her up front. Break armor to stun demons. Does that work on me, too? If they break my armor, do I get stunned? Well, let's see. We can do some random attacks. This is probably my best bet to start with. Get a decent hit off. I mean, it's possible I'll do it. This will Okay. Yeah, he did get stunned. So now only three is coming in. All of my guys are healed up, so that's fine. He is still poisoned. We could just add more poison on him. So we'll take that at the start of the turn. Should kill him. Okay, they're going for the back. Not a problem. All right, what do we want to do? So yeah, you do add existing charge. I think before he used to do additional damage to people that had charges on them. I think that was what it was before. So that's changed a little bit. And this, I think her ability works a little different as well. His is the same from what I recall. His might be different, I'm not sure. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and poison him, because why not? Um, and then we can just kill you between these two. I mean, he's already going to die at the start of his turn. We'll finish him. Alright, so tutorial done. I don't know if it'll have us go through the tutorial every... I think that'll probably be it. Um, I think I saw that there are actually 12 different characters you can unlock, so you can change as you go through. So we have kind of a Slay the Spire kind of progression here. Um, elites, the shops out there, artifacts and stuff. What do we want to do? Some healing there a little closer. I don't know if we'll need that. 
shops near the end first boss so the demo went through the first boss and that was it and i did beat him um, quite a few times playing through the demo which i enjoyed it looks pretty similar like very little has changed between the demo and this at this point i don't know if i want to hit an elite that early on let me go kind of along with this route see how this goes Challenger blocks your path, the wingman. This basis gain power while raining down attacks on your tire band. Okay, so he's doing a whole bunch of attacks across everybody. So I can do a little bit of protection. Uh, kind of feels like a waste for the barrier, but the barrier is free, so I mean, why not? You're buffing him. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and give her a shield some armor so everybody's gonna avoid taking some damage i mean the buffer is dangerous if we can do enough damage we can knock down yeah we can knock down his defense which will stop him from attacking so he'll get all confused Now he's doing more, so we would like to kill him if possible. And we can kill him. So let's do that. Let's make him go down. See, I would have liked if that was like, dun, 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 those attacks. Like, the guitar sound for each hit. I think that would have been cool. I feel like, yeah, let me adjust. I feel like the background music... I don't know if that's going to change... The music of playing... Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, we can save the game. So that's nice. So we can kind of save it whenever. A lot of these kind of games you can't actually save, so that's really nice to see. So I made a little bit of an error there, but we're fine. We'll be okay. Don't worry about it. All right. Yeah, we can just kill this guy. It's not a problem. We'll see if I drop the background sound, if it would make the sound of the cards louder. All right, we get some cash. We can take more. We can get some cards. One damage and three. So everything's color coded here. Blue cards are his, purple, red, yellow. One damage at three weakness charges to a single enemy. So it decreases damage. Uh, this is free, gains two power charges. That's decent. We could take the cash and hold on to it till we get to the store. The weakness charges could save my life. I'm gonna take that. Okay, I'm going to progress down this way. They're not always consistent here, like the drummers up front. New challenger blocks your path, the wild card. Reckless base is built for lots of small random strikes. So yeah, that information should be here somewhere. Like, I should be able to hover over this guy and see what he's going to do. So it's just convenient they're sort of hitting with a bunch of small attacks here. So armor would be good, but I could weaken that guy too. So if we weaken him, that reduces that damage to nothing. Throw a barrier there, although that'll just block two, because it's two twos. What do we want to do? can't take out his armor. I could knock his armor down for next time. I don't have anything that impressive I can do here. Do some random damage, add some charges. Yeah, I'll add some charges, so we'll save that for next time. So 
he's still weak, so he's not doing anything. This guy, if we can take him out, that would be the way to go. I can take out your armor. So that'll get him confused, so no damage. And he's too weak to do anything there. Okay, we can just curse that guy again. Would like to finish this guy off with two health. We could try the random. So we could do the random damage and see if it works. But finish you off. Give you some more weakness. And I could just keep pushing him up, make him my main damage and death dealer here. Or I could do three damage to him. Let's just do three damage. Should be able to take him out without any trouble here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel like... I feel like maybe the sound, the music, is also the same as the playing the card. Plus four armor at the start of each turn, and guard a single ally. That's pretty good. Gain one rage for each health damage dealt by this character. Good, but does cost a bit. I'm going to take the defender stance. So yeah, let me put the music up a little bit more. The Berserker, an aggressive guitarist that lashes out in a flurry of strikes and powers up when you hit it in a stance. Like, that's kind of important to know. Gain two power charges each time this character, character takes damage. Power increases damage dealt. Yeah, a bit of a problem, but he's not attacking me here. He is going into the stance right now. Okay, we've got some attacks coming in. I'm going to Defender. And we'll throw a barrier on him because he has no defense. So we still have three. Let's get you up there. And we'll knock off like half your health. I think I'm still in the stance where I'm protecting. So a three and a three. Let's kill you. I kind of like to kill these other two before I work on this guy. Um, we could drop poison. I don't know if the poison's going to give him power charges. It might. Let's find out. want to spread random attacks around, so I'm going to armor myself up. Well, he's going to armor himself up. Yeah, so he doesn't have any power, so he is taking poison without getting that. Okay, so we have enough protection already. So how about we just wail on this guy? Oh, 
I could have knocked down his armor, but and gotten him not to do anything. But we can suck up the damage, it's not a big deal. The poison's finishing him off here. He's still focusing on my drummer. Well let's poison you some more then. Just kill you through poison, maybe. Uh what else do I want to do? Anything? gonna go crazy on the defensive here. Can I play this again? Apparently so. Alright. I don't... I mean, hitting him doesn't make that big of a deal. Uh, not much of a difference, really. I'm actually just gonna skip it, and... let him take some poison. I want to kill him with the poison, just to see the effect. Just keep... There we go. Oh! Yeah, that'll be fine, because he'll take the poison damage first. I was thinking... I didn't really look. I was not paying that much attention. I should have, because he's taken the hit. I could have guarded him instead. But poison will finish him off. There we go. Which reminds me a little bit of Deep Sky Derelicts, having a group and kind of going through, fighting, uh... Two damage three times to a single random enemy. That's interesting, I'll take that, because we can push that up. Alright, artifact time. Yeah, let's go that way. Take your rewards. Tiny Castle, gain plus five armor when taking any stance. I think the only person I have that has a stance is him. Band gear. Each band member can carry four items that only they can use. Gear cannot be moved after it's been equipped, so choose wisely. So yeah, it makes the most sense to give it to him. And then it looks like bosses give you gear that affects your entire band. And I think from here, I can look at the, yeah, decks, and then we can look at gear if we want to from here. So what everything does, we can get a bit more information. Alright, on to the next fight. Full band! Some people were talking in the uh, the demo kind of discussions on Steam and stuff. Some people wanted, like, when you first see that, like, full screen, people wanted that to be kind of the battle screen. Um, and I can definitely see the appeal of that. Uh, meat Shield. Aggressive drummers with thick hides that lash out with very rapid strikes and can attack twice while in their stance. That's a bit of an issue. Lurker. Cowardly guitarists that hide behind other demons while building up power charges. That's also dangerous. Plague. Malevolent singers who focus on ruining your plans by corroding armor, weakening your attacks, amplifying damage your band takes. That's also bad. Okay, we've got attacks coming in all over the place. Uh, I have two people who aren't protected at all. So... I think I'm gonna give you a barrier. Few of them dealing four, I could weaken. I have a lot of scattered, a few scattered things I could do. Let's curse you. So that drops you to nothing. If I can take out armor, we can stun people temporarily. Could do that. Let's take you in. And let's just go nuts. We actually hit all on one guy and dropped his armor too. Alright. That 
that's a ton of damage coming at me. Uh, you're doing nine and you're doing eight. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> can I do much about that? Uh, I mean, we can defend her. That's probably my best choice. Do some poison and then do some damage, maybe. Let me do that. So I'm gonna poison this guy, okay? the most health, and then we'll do some random attacks. Okay, I didn't hit the guy with the poison. If I did, we just would up this poison level. Finally taken some damage. Okay. Might want to give some armor. This guy's doing most of the attacks. You're doing four as well. How about we just knock you out? The armor up. Let's do some scattered damage for fun. Few of them near death. I have very little in the way of attacks here, that's unfortunate. Um, Kill you. Or not, he's protected. I kind of need to kill this guy. We could poison him. So you're going to die that way. six damage and kill him. Did it not select the right target, or was he protecting him? I'm not sure what happened there, but I'm going to take some damage as a result. Or was that random? I might have been just rushing through. All right, I think we got to weaken this guy. That's all I can do. So taking a little bit more damage on Shinobi. Armor's holding. Might want to kill somebody. I think this only heals her, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that only heals her. All right, I could switch who I'm protecting. That might not be a bad idea. Let's do that. How about... Poison that guy again. Couple charges, I guess. And I'll do a little bit of damage. Okay, we're going for some big hits here. But I think we'll be fine. Uh, I can probably even do random. Yeah, it is to a random enemy. I've got six to a single, six to a single. Let's 
do random. Okay, we got one that way. So he's going to die from the poison, so that's fine. So we really only have three coming in. And we can just kill him. Alright, did take a little bit of damage though. Yeah, four points on Shinobi. Alright. Brittling, add one instability charge to a single enemy, plus one each time this card is played. Reduces resistance to damage and decays by one a turn. Explosive Concoction. Destroy all potential corrosion and poison charge damage from a single enemy at once to enemy banned. So if I've got one person with a ton on it, this will let me spread it all over the place. But it's only once per battle. I don't know if that's worth four actions. I'm going to take the cash, actually. It might be worth it, but it doesn't feel like it. Uh, let's take an event. Stranger Danger, Free Merch, or maybe a Brawl. Be ready for anything. Veterans of the Thunderfist. You encounter some former knights of the Thunderfist, veterans of the Battle for Doom. Too old to lift a guitar themselves anymore. They've watched you die enough times to know you could use some help. What do you need? Money, experience, receive a random epic card. Boar starts all battles from now on in spiked barricade stance, gain plus two thorn each time the character takes damage. Plus two thorn charges each time. I think that's pretty good. So we can redirect attacks to him. He's got lots of armor and then we'll do damage back when people attack us. I think that sounds fantastic. Boar learns a lesson in the use of thorns and will be an even more dangerous defender because of its spiked barricade. singers. Power line. Powerful team players that power up and heal other demons. Okay, so I think that's him. So you're going to enter a stance. I don't like you very much. I might poison you to start with. Okay, we've got attacks coming in. separate individual attacks. So let's give you armor then. Yeah, all I can really do is kind of whittle down armor. I could drop a barrier as well. That'll save me from some damage. I guess it's free, so we'll do that. Let's kind of use it or don't. Yeah, it's kind of five spread out or five to one target is all I've got here at this point. Let's spread it out and see. I might get some extra poison here. Yeah, so we have to give him some extra poison, so that was worth it. And we'll do a couple damage. Maybe to the defender. going for Shinobi. Alright, let's defend Shinobi. Yeah, we could do both of these, or I could give him some extra power charges and then do that. You're going to die from poison, so that's good. This, I think. And then we'll go random. Ah, uh, we hit the guy who's gonna die anyway. It seems like that happened last time, too. Now, shouldn't I be doing damage back? 
time you take armor damage, I should be getting thorns, but I don't see that I'm actually getting thorns. Two thorn charges each time you take armor damage. Yeah, I'm not getting any, as far as I can tell. So is that bugged, or do I need to play a card to do something? I'm not sure. All right, anyway. my power down. Got that covered. I'm going to give you armor. See if I can maybe get lucky. Yeah, so we took his armor out, so he's going to skip his attack. So yeah, I should be getting thorn charges. But I don't see anything here showing that. Okay, you're going to protect that guy. So how about we poison him? Do some charges, hit him for a bunch of damage. So the poison will kill him. Now they don't like you. Yeah, I feel like something's not working right here with the spike barricade. Alright, so they are going for you. We can block that. Uh, let's give you more charges to do more damage. So it looked like, because I didn't have health that was down, it just gave me extra blood charge instead there. Which I'm totally fine with. Uh, we can kill you many different ways, how about we just do this? Okay, Colossal Hammer, 12 damage to a single enemy, and if this breaks armor at 5 and stability charges, not bad. Uh, it is really expensive. We got this one again. I don't know that I like that. Got some cash. Let's take the Colossal Hammer. Give him a nice attack. And we have an elite fight. And a shop afterwards. Right. That's a very big, big dude. You're taking a lot of damage, okay. Um, so it's three separate attacks on the back line, one up front. I'm going to give you a barrier to protect you. I can't knock out everyone, like, all of the armor in a single shot. Except for the guy in the back. I suppose that's worth it. This will stop him from attacking. And then I think we just put some poison on one of these tough guys. Uh, let's poison this guy. Okay, I think I... Thorn Charge. Yeah, I got Thorn Charge that time. I don't know why I didn't get any last time. Maybe because I had the stance up? Maybe it doesn't work when I'm in a stance? Which would be kind of silly, but... Alright. Okay, a lot of attacks hitting Shinobi. I can defend him. I think that's a decent choice to start with.
What else do we want to do? I get six damage off. I can weaken somebody. We can just armor up. Let's get the six damage. And we'll take you out. Himself. Excellent. Alright, so this guy is protecting him. Big attack coming in the front. I can do nine to a random person. I have very little in the way of defense. Let me see if I get lucky. Okay. We could stop his four attacks. He takes almost everything I've got, though. Got a stance coming in. I'm not sure I'm happy about that. Let's go defender. Kill him off. And let's hurt him and get some help. Back. Yeah, so I don't get the thorns when I'm guarding somebody else. I only get it if it's just kind of regular attacks coming in. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, let's guard Shinobi. A poison. Let's make you stronger. And we'll do some random attacks. Okay, that's a bit of a problem, but thankfully everything's hitting him. Yeah, this is definitely not good. Can take out your armor, so that'll confuse you. Stop you attacking, anyway. Um, I'd like to kill you. See if we can get some extra poison there. Okay, not enough to kill him, but it is more. And I just don't want to take any damage, so I'm going to here. Okay, big attack, but he's actually going to die. So that's not too big of an issue. One shot this guy, you could one shot that guy. I'd like to heal, so let's heal. Kill him. And he'll be dead from the poison, so it doesn't really matter. So only one person down. Rare gear item. Gain plus one health to this target whenever this character applies a buff. And cash? No, or cash. Um, 
Do I have anybody applying buffs? I guess... I'm not sure if her ability counts as a buff. To the target, whenever this character applies a buff. I don't know if this is... I'm, power charges, are they buffs or not? I don't think so. And shields, I don't think is a buff either. I'm going to take it, but I'm not sure if it actually works. Uh, I'm going to give it to her. So another card can now show up. Style on. X damage, a single enemy, plus one damage for some buff charge on them. Alright, we're off to the shop. What do you want this time? Get rid of cards. We're 75. We've got gear. What kind of gear do we have? Sergeant Sherman has two drain charges and two power charges. Increased cost, increased damage, and nope. Gain plus one power charge when getting hit. I could see that for um, our uh, crazy Scotsman, for sure. Plus one armor each time this character plays a card. That's also really good. What else did we get? Double all buff and debuff charges on a single ally. Poison. Four damage to a single enemy. Reeve. Seven damage to a single enemy. And heal ten health on a kill. Hmm. Timing for that's going to be kind of iffy about whether you can get that off for the kill. I think. I'm going to take the Vengeance Vest. And we're going to give it to uh, Crazy Scotsman Guy. I can't remember the name of. Grimnir! Yeah, you have that. This could work on either our defensive guy in the back, the drummer, or on Grimnir. One armor every time you play a card. I think it could really help with him but it'd be nice to get some armor somewhere else. So I'm actually going to give it to him. Because I think we've got enough defense already. Now, do we take the Reeve? It will get affected by his buffs. So it could be more damage. So yeah, we'll take it. Spend all the money. Do I go event and another elite? There's multiple events here instead. The last elite wasn't bad. Let's do that. What drive? A surgeon blocks your path and dozens more line the rooftops. For a donation that will allow you to pass and nobody fights the medical hordes. They'll get their blood one way or another. Who will volunteer to donate some blood? Band member will take four damage. Um, I mean, it makes the most sense to do it on her, because she can just heal it. Back. The chief physician thanks you for the donation. It's always so much cleaner when the blood comes to them without needing the hunt. Okay, kind of a negative, unfortunate. Okay. What is that? Plus 8 armor when taking any stance if at 0 armor. Okay. Nobody else has anything crazy going on. You're doing 2 power charges to the band. I might want to kill you, and I can. How about I just kill you? Put a barrier there. And we'll just do some random damage. Get some thorns. Okay, they're really targeting Shinobi.
who's hitting him the most. That guy. So if we can do some damage. I don't have a lot. We've got random. That's the problem. I can take his armor out. Not ideal. So that stops that big attack. Give you armor, because that's two separate attacks. Barriers stay up, so I'm actually going to put a barrier on Shinobi for later. Okay. Got another big hit, and we can use it. Stop him from hitting you. So he's going to take additional damage. But I don't really have any damage I can do. So how about we just poison him for now? stuff causing me some problems. Really unsure. Three. I mean, we could probably kill him. Let's weaken you. Still taking five from this guy. Kill a single target, maybe, if we get lucky. Uh... All right, a lot of them hurt. chunk out of you for some health. Just kill you. It's a bit of overkill, actually. The six in the back is fine. The guy up front we want to deal with, so... Anyway, is fine. Actually, it did take damage there. Anything crazy? Not really. Uh, let's just crush him. Not bad, but we are taking some damage, getting a little down a little bit. 
Not a lot. Shinobi's taking a bit. Randomize energy prices for this character each turn. I do not like that at all. No thank you. <laughs> Event. The Mentor of Metal. Amongst the fire and chaos of the city around you, a frustratingly calm stranger sits on the curb, lost in a meditative solo. He says his teaching can help you maintain control in the hardest of times. Learn to chill as the old man does. Receive one spell card. Yeah, why not? The old man plays a solo for you, and calmness washes over the band. So calm that all you want to do is go bash some fucking demons! But first, select the card if you want to keep it. So it's the style on. X damage to a single enemy, plus one damage for each buff charge on them. Uh, sure. So that's on the target, I'm assuming, so every buff they have is going to help them. Alright, so for items, we have plus two energy charges if this character plays no damage cards on a turn. That could be quite good on our guy in the back. 25 coins when you get a kill. We've got a little bit of damage, two damage, and add three instability to every enemy without armor. That's decent. Take three health damage, add three instability to a single enemy. I don't know if that's worth it. Maybe? Transfer all debuffs from self to a single enemy. Hmm. Interesting. I haven't seen that many pop up, but eventually I'm sure we'll get a lot. Let's do this. It could even do it on Shinobi, because we're often poisoning. We're not really attacking with him that much. Occasionally I'm attacking with him. Mostly I'm defending. I just don't have any good attack cards for Shinobi, really. I'll give it to him. And I'll take the transmission. Need some health. Heal one back to full or 30% for everybody. We're fine. Got to get everybody up to max. And we're on to the boss. And something popped up there for a second. I clicked too fast. Krygar and Curse, the massive drummer enjoys throwing waves of minions at your band, and they will destroy their own backup to gain power charges. Yes, yeah, so they're gonna keep summoning, and then they're gonna get buffs and stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, Shinobi's getting hammered immediately, which is not great. Uh, we do have a barrier. So nice to see that. I could just outright kill a guy for three. So let's do that. And I'm thinking we poison the big guy. Wasn't this supposed to be... Okay, so his stuff will just be cheaper. So it doesn't give us energy, it actually just makes his cards cheaper. Alright, gotcha. Okay, so that guy's at 8. Uh, I have a lot of attacks coming in, and I don't have much I can do about it. Actually, I have almost nothing that I can do about it. I can weaken him, and that's about it. have to do. Go 
for the next random thing. Okay, we hit the big guy. Lot hitting the guy in the back. We've got very cheap stuff. You're fine. I'm gonna armor myself so that I'm good. I do have debuffs. Let's do that. You can have my debuff. Kill you. And I guess I'll do some damage. Gives me a barrier. Do I want to use the barrier? I probably should use the barrier. Okay, I think he's going to summon guys here this turn. Yeah, two minions. Okay. So we're doing okay. If I have some defense, this will be time to put some up, but we don't. So how about we just throw a bunch of damage at you? Uh, but I could give him more poison. Oh, that is really tempting. 12 damage or poison him? Let's do the 12 damage. Ooh, he's got a big attack coming in, but if I can do one to him, that'll stop him from doing anything. Like the only attack I have, so do that. So that saves me from some stuff. A lot of defense here. I've got no debuffs to transfer. I'm gonna poison him again. Give you armor. For now, I'm gonna set up guarding Shinobi. I don't have anything here, so it doesn't matter. What's that? Plus three power charges when this character slays an ally. Okay, so we want to kill your allies instead. Uh, we can just one-shot you. How much would that be? X damage to a single enemy, plus one damage for each buff charge on them, so plus two. So is the X... Is it like zero plus one plus one? So then it's two. So I could do four to him with that for two. That's not nearly enough. We could do 12 to a random person. Let's do that. Okay, we got lucky. And I'm gonna weaken you a little bit. He's going to try to summon again. And I've got a 12. Yeah. 
Yeah, the most damage I can do is using this, so that's what I'll do. Do you get a barrier? I might as well put that up. Um, who am I guarding? I don't remember who I'm guarding. I thought I was guarding somebody. Aren't I guarding somebody? This card is guarding another from direct attack. No, there. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, so you're guarded. Let's put a shield on her. same, but they're a little different size. Okay, got attacks coming in. Quite a few attacks, actually. Let's give you armor. Let's do some random stuff. Okay, we'll hit the big guy. Let's poison the big guy. And I'm going to weaken this guy. Shinobi, but we have him guarded, so that should be okay. Um, lots of damage just in general. Is he gonna try to eat somebody? And then hit us? Is that why the damage? Is that what that is? Let's do this. We'll throw some random damage around. Okay, not fantastic. Drop your attack. And I can switch who I'm defending. She can at least heal, so keeping him defended, I think, is the right call for now, anyway. Let's see if he eats these guys or not. I'm not sure. Okay, he killed one of his own guys. He does have three power. Okay, really big hit coming in. Uh, I can just kill you. Gain some health. That helps a tiny bit. Um, I mean, healing her, I guess. I would have liked to get some more poison on him, but I'll live with that. to the front. Do what I can about that. Does have poison, so we want to play this. So we get the poison back up a little bit. Do that. Get some rage. damage. Put our 
front line is taking a big beating. Okay, he's gonna summon guys. I don't suppose I can kill him. I get a bunch of random stuff. Oh, yeah, I can kill you. We got the crushing roar. So we can just burn all of my rage and just take him out. Yeah, you can die. Nice. Alright, add one band energy, but the first character to play a card will be stunned each turn. Yeah, not great. Add one band energy and add five curses to your deck. Also not great. Uh, add one band energy, but each character can only play three cards per turn. Ugh. I don't particularly like any of these, actually. What does stunned mean? Cannot act for a turn. So I'm assuming that's the rest of the same turn, hopefully. But if they're, like, stunned the entire... Next turn, that would suck. Five curses. We can get rid of cards, it just costs us some money. I probably don't play more than three cards per turn of an individual character, usually. So I feel like this one's the least problematic. So I'll take that one, I guess. Later on, it might be an issue, because getting cheaper cards and that kind of stuff, making cards cheaper. Yeah, that's all low down, but there's a hell of a lot more to go. Karna and the Bellow have brought a demon horde into the Grand Hall of the Thunder Fist. And the only path to Sunnerup is by cutting right through the beasts. It's a vicious crowd out there. So tear the house down. Alright, yep, I'm sure. Since we made it to the second stage, some more cards are unlocked that we can pick up. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, so this is a bit of progress. I will probably come back and continue this run, and we'll keep doing more videos of this just to finish the run out. Um, whether that means I'm going to die, prob probably. I'm probably going to die. Uh, probably going to die in the run here at some point. I don't know how many of these there are. I'm guessing there's at least three bosses. What did it say at one point? Alright, that's going to do it for today. This has been Power Cord. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.